Hey, good morning. How you doing? Mike Burchard, Hudson Police. The reason I stopped you is you uh, didn't stop for a red light back up there at uh, 303 in Milford. Is there a reason why you didn't stop for it? I just got, you know, I had a load in the back, and I mean, I just didn't want it to come sliding and, and hit the back of my truck. I didn't think it was that, I didn't think it was going to turn red that quick, to be honest. I'm not a physicist, but how do you imagine that would happen? No, I'm not saying the uh, railing, just like the toolbox and stuff. I just didn't know it was going to turn red that quick, to be honest. Is that what it came down to? I mean... Okay. I'm just being honest. All right. I, I appreciate that. Do you feel like you were going too fast then? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, what's the speed limit down there? 25? You tell me. You just, you just came 25. through there. Yeah, it's 25. Is it? Okay. So, you think you were going 25, but that was too fast to make a red light? I mean, I didn't think... I just wasn't thinking it was going to turn that quick. Okay. Yeah. Handle your uh, driver's license, please. Let's go. Beautiful. All right. Give me a couple minutes. All right. You've never had a ticket before, have you? Okay. I had a parking ticket at Ken. Not, not the same. Not the same at all. Um, parking ticket, what does that cost you at Ken? Maybe 15, 20 bucks? Yeah. Thereabouts? Okay. Well, if I was to give you a ticket for running that red light, that sets you back about $175. Right. That's a significant difference. Yeah. Have you got something better you could do with 175 bucks than give it to the court? I definitely do. Probably you do. That's why you're going to work, right? I'm trying to buy a house right now. Yeah. I just made an offer, so. Well, a nearly two hundred dollar setback is not is not helpful in that endeavor, is it? For sure. Right. So, first things first, I would suggest drive more carefully so as to not get tickets, and not you know involuntarily donate money to the to courts. Yeah. They'll do fine without your help. There's other people volunteering their money. Keep yours for yourself and use it for things you want to spend it on. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other thing is this, and I this may be a, a little known bit of trivia, something that isn't commonly known. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Most police don't really want to give people tickets. Yeah. True story. We just don't. Mm -hmm. People think we do. We're driving around all day. They go, oh, they can't wait to pull somebody over and give them a ticket. The fact is, we don't want to do that. What we want is for everybody to try a lot harder just to, to be safe, be considerate of their fellow drivers, not create situations that uh, you know endanger others, and uh, not to get in crashes. That's what we want. Yeah. Sometimes giving somebody a ticket is necessary to you know to encourage better behavior so people don't do things that are reckless and dangerous and whatnot and, and make the place less safe, make the you know, community less safe. Um, but if we can gain voluntary compliance, Clients, that's our preference over having to give somebody a ticket. Yeah. So my question to you would be, can I count on you to offer us your voluntary compliance and to try harder to be safer as you're driving through Hudson? Absolutely. Or does the ticket need to be issued to make that happen? I don't think so. Perfect. Then we're on the same page. All right. All right. I be, appreciate be it. Be careful. All right. Get where you're going safely, all right? All right. Thank you. All right. Have a nice day. You too.